Hi, my name is Tom Carrier. I'm a 20-year veteran of the Interesis GTAC. This video is to assist you with class of service inside of Policy Manager. Class of service has two modes, basic mode, which is the default, and if you pull down the edit menu, you can go to advanced class of service configuration. I'll cover this in a later video. For now, to start basic class of service configuration, select this item from the edit pull down menu, and it brings up your class of service screen. We have several predefined classes of service, which are mapped to priorities and also to some rate limiters. If you click on a class of service, for example, NAC Web Redirect, we can see that inside of this class of service, we're assigning an 802.1p priority. We're marking packets with a TOS DSCP value. We can also set drop precedence on our more advanced devices. And finally, we can send an inbound or an outbound rate limiter. Once the class of service is defined, we can assign that class of service to either a rule that's inside of a service, or we can assign it at the role level. Assigning a class of service at the rule, you select the rule, and under actions for this particular traffic type, we'll assign this class of service. In this case, we're looking at HTTP traffic. Our class of service is NAC Web Redirect, and if you recall, Back in the class of service configuration, NAC Web Redirect assigns an 802.1p priority of 3 and marks the packet with a toss bit of 0x40. There is no inbound or outbound rate limiter selected for this. Another example of assigning a class of service is at the role level. We can select a role and again, under default actions, we can select a class of service. In this case, we've selected test as our class of service to assign to this policy. If we go in and look at our class of service configuration, we can see that test sets a priority of zero and does an inbound rate limiter of two megabits per second. If we want to create a brand new class of service for any of these roles from one that doesn't exist, we can pull down this menu, say new, that brings us to the class of service create menu. We can create the name, again, any of these fields, 802.1p priority, toss DSCP marking, or we can set an inbound or outbound rate limiter. In this case, we'll create a brand new rate limiter of one megabit per second. We can also select any of these actions for generating alerts on violations for our more advanced devices. Click OK, OK again, and then the class of service is populated into the role. The other item to check for for class of service is to make sure that under the Devices General tab, role-based rate limits are enabled. Once you enforce, this configuration will be pushed down to the switch. Thanks for watching, and please call one of our global 800 numbers for assistance with this or any other class of service issues. Feel free to ask for me, and I'll be more than happy to assist if I'm available. More information is available on our website at enterasis.com support.